well do you know your gut? We sometimes talk about having gut feelings or that our gut is not feeling well. But do you really know where your gut is and what it does? What are the different parts of your gut? And how do you keep your gut healthy? This week, we're going to pull excerpts from our free downloadable ebook that is available on our website, www.thefoolishcouple.com. We are The Foolish Couple, Andy and I'm Minna. We believe that healthy relationships starts with health, and our goal is to help people achieve true health and health relationships by nutrition, exercises, mindset, and lifestyle. Your gut, which is also known as your gastrointestinal tract, is a magnificent processor with a genetic intelligence that is encoded in every one of your microbes. Now that's excerpt from Gut Matters, our downloadable book on chapter one. Your gut, in addition to promoting normal gastrointestinal functions, also provides protection from infection, regulates your metabolism, stimulates hormone production, and manufactures the majority of the neurotransmitters found in your brain. If that doesn't sound important to you enough, here's something you need to know about your gut. At least 80% of your immune system and most of your serotonin is located inside your gut. Serotonin is related to mental health, and we'll talk about how your gut is related to some of the more common mental health problems later on in the series. Today, let's first talk about what your gut really is, and also about the gut-brain connection. Your digestive tract consists of five main sections. One is your mouth and teeth. Two is your esophagus. Three, your stomach. Four is your small intestine and five is your large intestine. The whole digestive tract is about 25 feet long, from the point that you put food into your mouth all the way till it comes out from your body through your colon. It takes about 12 to 48 hours. Your vital digestive organs are one, your pancreas, which has the most important job of secreting enzymes breaking down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And it is also the source of the hormone insulin. Your liver, which filters blood from your gut, removes toxins, metabolizes drugs, stores nutrients, and synthesizes proteins and bile. Lastly, your gallbladder. It stores and concentrates the bile and pushes it into your small intestine, where it helps to digest fat. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? What makes our gut really amazing is that it actually communicates with your brain. The brain speaks to the gut and the gut answers back. Now to give you an example, when you feel stressed, maybe you're about to miss a deadline at work, or if you get into a minor accident, where do you feel it immediately? It's in your gut, right? Researchers have discovered that the enteric nervous system that is in our gut serve as our second brain, and our two brains are connected via the vagus nerve. And we'll talk about more of the vagus nerve in our book, Gut Matters. This marriage between our brain and our gut plays a key role in our overall health, both physical and emotional. For example, we know that people with gastrointestinal problems, a lot of times they also experience anxiety and stress which can make the GI problems even worse in the future. The link between psychiatry and neurogastroenterology is now being studied by many scientists as they come out with new insights and findings. We'll learn more about how the gut-brain connections impacts our body and mind. In the next few episodes, we'll talk about microbiomes, common gut problems including mental health issues, and the four ways to optimize your gut health. If you like this blog, share this with your friends and family. Gut problems affect millions of adults and having a healthy gut will help many people. So help us reach out to those who need this by sharing with them. Use the link on the right to share on either Facebook or email. Until next time, love what you live and live what you love.